Hi friends, it's Mari Clark here. Today on Scrapbooking Tips and Tricks, we're going to be taking a look at creating a light and airy layout. We're going to start the process here with my photograph and we're just going to trim this three inch by three inch black and white photo uh, using my decal edge trimmer from Tim Holtz. This is a very new tool to my scrapbooking space. I absolutely love it. I think it's super cool. The little bit of detail that it adds to the, the edge of the photo. And if you just kind of um, move it to a different spot on the blade, you'll get a different type of or a different edge. So the edge is very all the way up that blade and you can just see that I have moved my photo to a different spot on the blade for the different uh, edges of the photo. So here we've got just this really gorgeous black and white photo here. This is a photo of my daughter and her husband and just really love this. They recently had photos taken. It's beautiful. I did actually put this through Lightroom and make some adjustments on it. The photo originally was sepia and I just wanted a uh, black and white and I lightened it up a little bit as well. I am going to be doing a little bit of mixed media here for the focus, which is light and airy for our project today. And I just want to show you how to do a lot of, um, or just a little bit of really, really simple mixed media to create just a beautiful light and airy layout. And if you've never really tried this before and you weren't really sure how to achieve it, or it's something that you've never tried, but thought you didn't really like the look of, you know, like try it give it a try and see what you think i'm starting off here with a little bit of tim holtz distress oxide ink in evergreen bow and you can just see that i um splattered it on there first and now i've taken the the plastic packaging i've um, added the uh, packaging to the paper uh, let the the pigment drip on there a little bit as well because it was watered down and just taking my paper towel there and rolling it across and I'm just going to keep playing around with this when I end up um, with the actual uh, project and the the uh, mixed media done later I actually end up covering up a lot of that evergreen bow but that happens I'm kind of just trying to color match here create some uh, color that is going to go along with the marigold collection from crepe paper which is the collection that I'll be using here today for my project so I'm just going to continue to add some different mediums here this is Jana's Jade Lindy Stamp Gang Magical and I love this I've just watered it down in a little pot or a little um area in my little watercolor palette there over to the right and I'm just splattering it on I'm going to dry it you'll see me um, taking my paper towel over it and so on and so forth and I just love the effect of these magicals they're so pretty and I do end up like I said uh, going over the the green the evergreen bow there I mix a little bit actually of the time travel teal um, or I think it's actually called it's not time travel teal actually the one I used is shabby turbine teal and I mix it with Jana's Jade and it just creates a really pretty green that matches up really nicely with the color palette in the marigold collection which um, like I said I will be using and I just wanted to create just this little wee area of mixed media here for my photo and leave a bunch of white space and that uh, that pattern paper that I showed you there is from Marigold and I was just kind of taking a look at some of the different pieces and thinking about what I, what I want to use here but it's really going to be minimal and you can see some little bows that I fussy cut out of some paper from the from the Marigold collection and I've got some of the the vellum pieces that I'm just going to try out here and I'm just bringing a bunch of things in so that I can see how large I want my mixed media area to be and also what colors I want to use from these um, pattern papers as my inspiration and then the the different ephemera pieces as well. I'm going to start my photo mat off here with a piece of uh, tissue paper that I've just cut down to a little bit larger than the size of my photo. I'll staple the layers of the tissue paper together and then I wanted to use this gorgeous paper here for Marigold to um, also layer up my photo and I will link up to all of the different products or Marigold that I use today. In fact I did want to mention that lots of the products that I'm using here today are from the Crop and Create Delivered uh, event that was held in November. It was a virtual 
virtual event and that event is hosted by scrapbook and cards today magazine and you always get um, an attendee kit as part of their events and their attendee kits are always amazing and this year their attendee kit or this month in november was right full of the gorgeous marigold collection from crepe paper so absolutely love this collection i think it's so pretty and it actually really complemented this layout nicely which is an outdoor layout and i think the theme really for marigold is kind of like a fall theme so i just think it's really really pretty and i love how that really dark rich forest green kind of frames in my photo here and brings your attention to that photograph for sure so i'm going to go ahead and just add some tape runner adhesive some really strong adhesive here to the paper and i've got some craft foam uh, just some like really inexpensive craft foam from Michaels on the back of my photograph there and I'm going to go ahead and just stick that down to that tape runner. So in the process of creating this really light and airy layout you'll notice that um, as I continue here I'm not going to add a ton of anything else around the edges of the layout. The area right now that's white is really going to remain white for the most part i am going to add a little bit more pattern paper but um really uh that's how you're going to achieve that light and airy look just by not adding a ton of different product and so on to the project and uh, just a little bit of really really simple mixed media and it's it's just so simple and easy to do so i just feel like this is a look that uh, looks really classy and i feel like when you mix these layouts in with your album i just think it it just looks really nice now I'm going to just go ahead and tear that uh, tone on tone pink dot and the back side of that is that uh, kind of a cream color with the, the black floral. I like how those two sort of contrast with each other and I'm going to work a little bit more on those strips as we go along here. I'm going to add a little bit more craft foam to my photo layers and just add a little bit more dimension in that way. And you can see that I'm adding that green paper onto that tone on tone dot pink paper. And that is going to be all of the different layers in my photo mat here. So you can just see there, I'm just going to work away. And here's those paper strips. I've just torn them a little bit smaller and I've added some sewing with my sewing machine on there. And these are just gonna go edge to edge, margin to margin across the layout horizontally. And that's just gonna be sort of like a little grounding spot for my photos. And <clears throat> I'm actually going to extend that um, mixed media circle that I have behind the photo with some more of the Lindy Stamp Gang Jana's Jade. I'm just going to add a little bit more to the top and bottom and now you can see some really sweet uh, embellishments that I've taken from the Marigold die cut pack and this is a mixture of gold foil and black and white pieces, uh, some vellum pieces, so so pretty and then I did fussy cut that kind of teal colored bow from the bow paper from the collection and I have another die cut piece here that I think says thankful on it that little banner that I'm going to glue onto the photo area there but this is a basic placement of the ephemera and then that patterned paper I just think it like I said it looks really interesting but we're maintaining that really light and airy feeling and we're going to continue that by just really keeping all of our clusters and embellishments in tight to the photo so this really beautiful vellum butterfly with a little popped out in the back I'm going to squeeze that and scooch that right in to the photo so that all of that white space is all the way around the outside edge and it just allows your eye to just like slide right off the edge of the paper and that just contributes to this light and airy feel now these are the gold uh phrase stickers and there's like little foliage pieces and that kind of thing and these are like gold puffy stickers they're beautiful this is of course from the crepe paper marigold collection just going to add those scatter those around the layout a little bit and of course create my title which says you and me this is one of the little stickers from the sticker book and i'm going to just add a sticker up at the top of the photo there just a little phrase sticker 
and um, really my layout is going to be finished. I'm going to add a couple of other little die cuts over by that deer and some journaling strips and that's going to be it for my project. So I, I think it's fun. I think you should try it. If you do go ahead and try this light and airy type of layout, you've never tried this before and you've always kind of looked at these layouts and thought, ah, oh, it's not really my style. I don't really know if I like it. Just give it a shot and see, um, you know, what, how it turns out and um, what you come up with. And I just think it's super fun. It, the layouts come together very, very fast. You can definitely add more than one photo to this type of layout. I could have easily added two square photos to this uh, and still had that light and airy feel with that white space around the edge and it would have been fine. You could also extend this into a double page spread. I have done um, videos here on YouTube, or at least one video, I should say, where I've talked about how you can take a single page layout and then adapt that into a double. And I, if I remember, I will link that video up down below. And I just think that um, this is just another really fun design that's easy to do. And uh, it's a lot, of, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, I think it's a pretty look classy. I like it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a liquid adhesive here to my journaling strips. And I've only got just a couple of journaling strips there, just really simple, just talking about gratitude, being grateful. Uh, it's that time of year, I guess, where we're just thinking about and, and I guess 2020 really, I mean, if we don't focus on gratitude and what we have to be grateful for, you know, it's the little things, it's the simple moments together. It's, you know, um, being able to eat your favorite food or whatever, like it's not the big grand measures. And I think one of the things about slowing down in 2020, uh, it's sort of definitely made me think way more about how much I'm grateful for. And just to think about, you know, the simple things and yeah, I, I think that's definitely what this layout's all about. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you were inspired to create a light and airy project. This is not hard to do. It's it's very, very simple. You could do this with any type of mixed media, if it's mixed media that you're using for your project. And just choose your favorite collection and just go for it. And definitely if you... Um, if you do create something with this, make sure that you uh, tag me on Facebook or on Instagram so that I can check out what you created with this technique or this design type. Um, super fun. And I just really love I love how this turned out, obviously. I'm definitely repeating myself at this point. <laughs> I also really, really love the Marigold collection. It is beautiful. Thanks so much, guys. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you another time here on my channel. Bye bye.